everyone, welcome back to AdamDurnford.com. My name is Adam Durnford, if you don't already know me. Um, today we're going to make a tomato sauce using these, uh, these three tomatoes I have here. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the steps and uh, hopefully you'll be able to make it on your own. I have no doubt in my mind that you can make it on your own because it's quite simple. Alright, so I hope you enjoy. Alright, we have a pot on to simmer and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to score these tomatoes make a little X on the bottom so they're easier to peel once they come out. And then we're just going to drop them in here. Do that with all three of them. There you go. Pop those in the pot for about five to ten minutes and then uh, we'll take them out, cool them off, and peel the skin off. Alright, now that our tomatoes have cooled, we're going to take them out of the pot and just peel the skin comes off really easy. So you just want to get all the skin off every side. And it should look like this once you get everything off. So we'll do that with all three of the tomatoes. This makes it really easy. Everything will just fall right off. cloves of garlic cut right there right there I'm gonna pop those in as well we're gonna add a teaspoon of basil this dry stuff fresh is better but a lot of times where we live here in Newfoundland we can't get the fresh basil sometimes so if you could use dry if you use fresh great but if you have dry that's fine too and uh, we're gonna put a teaspoon of dried oregano in there as well and then we're gonna do a little pepper salt. And we're going to adjust the salt and pepper later if you want to have it to taste like the way you would like to have it, you know? Oh. And then we're going to take it, our trusty little hand blender. If you don't have a hand blender, just use a regular a regular food processor. So we're going to just do, just push that aside. So, all we're going to do is There you go. Now we're going to put it on the stove. We're going to let it simmer for a bit. Add a little bit of tomato paste just to give it the thickness. And you're off to the races. Here we have the tomato sauce. I added a uh, two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste to it just to add, thicken it up a little bit because I want to use it on the eggplant parmesan later. And I'm going to show you how to make that as well. But, uh, I mean, if you want... You could just use more tomatoes to make more sauce, but like for us, there's only two of us in the house, so this is the perfect amount. And uh, I hope uh, this helps when you're going to make a sauce to try to impress somebody, because you know, fresh tomatoes, they, they taste great. You see, the marinara is just, it's a wonderful thing. So you can eat it on anything that you want. You know, you can eat it on pizza, and pasta, and eggplant, and squash, the spaghetti kind, and you know, you could put it on, uh, put it under eggs, put it under waffles. Okay, we won't go with waffles, but you know, anything that you like, if you really like marinara, you will like this. So, enjoy and subscribe to AdamDurford.com, or it's just Adam Durford actually for YouTube, but check out the website, AdamDurford.com. So, have a great day.